Hi guys, this is the review of my Glary GIZ 101. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, a nice new thing for me, they now come double boxed. And inside the second box, there was a neck rest, and the guitar was actually inside of a padded gig bag. We've well, got a 5mm padding. It's not a great bag, but it's better than the old dust covers we used to get from them. It was a nice surprise as well. Also new, they've upgraded their instrument cable to a heavy duty 10 foot with metal ends. Very nice, very nice. And of course you get a strap and your picks and your adjustment wrenches. And here's the first look at, this, at my guitar, the GIZ. A nice purple. I well, waited for the purple to come back in stock. We've got a nice Fender, or Fender Gibson-ish, ish has stock, but not enough to be bad. A uh, black front and it's purple, purple back on the neck and on the neck. There we go. So here's what it looks like right out of the box. So we did a setup and we did some upgrades on the, on our guitar. First thing I did, which I do on almost all my guitars, is add locking tuners. These are the Geiger ones, and I rock with the 8-gauge Ernie Ball strings, so we put those on. And I put on a roller bridge. I was actually, the bridge that went on was a different one from this one, because I had an issue with the post size. So I put the Geiger bridge on and had to order new parts for that harmonica-style bridge which I use on my SG guitar instead. So we did the oil the fretboard and polished the, clean and polished the frets. There were a couple that were high, very close to the end. So we just tapped them in with a hammer. We're using the Music Lily large buttons, strap lock buttons. They seem really nice, not very expensive um, on our guitar here. You replace the buttons and the strap box code and strap. Easy peasy. Again, say we polished the, the fretboard. Got our new tuners installed. So the guy, I really like the Geiger lock, locking tuners. The only time I've ever had an issue is when I'm using my 8 gauge string that doesn't always clamp, in, clamp it in. So here's what we're showing. We're doing our... Uh, Checking our frets, we got our our beam to check the uh, truss rod, and file our nut a little down down a little bit because it was tall. We got the fret file, the nut files to file the nut, but it was still too tall, so I went ahead and took it off and and uh, filed down from the bottom a little bit. We got her got her right where we wanted though. I had the tape on there while I was filing, filing the nut slot so I didn't scratch the guitar up. The only big issue we had in the, in the guitar was there was a spot that you can see that stuck out and prevented the pickup from going up and down. I just went in there with a, a chisel and popped it out and we were off to the races. So we got it all put back together. You can see the, uh, got the roller bridge, got our our pickups adjusted and now we're under the sound demo hi guys we're here with our glary giz 101 in the purple we did a, a setup on it and then we uh, adjusted the truss rod and set the action and the intonation. I did upgrade just because of personal preference to a roller bridge and locking tuners. And I got uh, eight gauge strings on here from uh, Ernie Ball. Just by again personal preference. And I apologize for all the noise, the birds, the saws, the cars. It's just trying to get their stuff done before winter comes. So we're just going to play a couple of chords because uh, 
Might as well with the arthritis, my fingers don't work very well anymore. Just so you can kind of hear it. My fingers don't move like they used to. So that's your uh, bridge pickup. And I'm oh, sorry, this is the bridge. The other one is the neck. This is the neck. It does have a nice ground to it when you. Uh, Add a little crunch to it. Say it's got a good tone to it. These are stock pickups. And yeah, I'm not an expert player anymore, especially now my fingers have gone bad. I mostly play bass, but anyway, here's the GIZ 101. Hope you liked it.